Hello friends, welcome to C programming video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand tokens of C language. We understood that smallest unit of any programming language is called as a token. I told you to remember this shortcut which help you to remember tokens of C language easily. C kicks OS. C for comments, K for keywords and data types, I for identifiers, C for constants and variables, S for strings and characters, O for operators, S for separators. We already discussed comments, keywords and data types. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss identifiers in C language. What is an identifier? As the name itself indicating, identifier, identify. Identifier is a sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of a program. Sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of a program. Identifiers are names given to the program elements by the programmers. User defined names are called as identifiers. For example, name of a variable, name of a constant, name of an array, name of a function, name of a data structure are examples for identifiers. You can see here I have listed some naming conventions. Naming conventions are the rules or guidelines for writing identifier names. While naming an identifier, we follow these rules and guidelines. Identifiers should be meaningful and descriptive. You can see here, S is a valid identifier name. P is a valid identifier name. But remember that never use single character as an identifier name until and unless it is required because they are not more meaningful and descriptive. Identifier names should be meaningful and descriptive. You can see that score, score indicates player score, price indicates some product price. They are more meaningful and descriptive, right? Instead of using the score, if I use S, yes, then that will be not more meaningful. S can be something else, right? Instead of score, it may represent the sign or student name, something. Always use identifier names meaningful and descriptive. They should indicate the purpose and what value they hold. Keywords should never be used as identifiers. Keywords are reserved words. Their meaning and purpose is already defined in the programming language. We should not use keywords for some other purpose. For example, here, continue, while, break are invalid identifier names because they are keywords. The first character must be an alphabet or underscore. The first character must be an alphabet. It can be an uppercase or lowercase alphabet. And the first character can be an underscore character. The first character should not be a number. You can see ninth player is an invalid identifier because it is beginning with a number or a digit. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits or underscores. After the first character, next characters can be alphabet, digits or underscores. No special characters are allowed except an underscore, not even space. You can use underscore. No other special characters are allowed like dollar, less than, greater than, caret, ampersand, semicolon. No other special characters are allowed except underscore, not even space. You should not have space. You can see player space health is an invalid identifier name. More than one successive underscores should not be used. More than one successive underscores should not be used. More than one identifier names should not be same in the same scope. We discuss about identifier scopes later. But remember that in the same scope, two or more identifiers should not have the same name. Identifiers are case sensitive. C is actually a case sensitive programming language. It treats uppercase letters and lowercase letters differently. So you can see here, we have two identifiers, num and num. They have both same name. They give same meaning, right? But they are treated completely differently because in this identifier, the first letter is capital N, whereas in this identifier, the first character is uh, in lowercase, it is a lowercase n. 
they are treated as completely two different identifiers not same even though they have the same meaning that is the meaning of case sensitive so while naming any identifier that means while naming a variable constant naming an array naming a function or a data structure you must follow these naming conventions so i hope you guys have clearly understood what are identifiers remember that identifier is a sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of a program identifiers are names given to the program elements program elements like variables constants arrays functions data structures by the programmers that is user defined names are called as identifiers i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly remember everything in the next video tutorial we get more information on c programming for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial